Hi, it's Christine here. I'm an independence demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and uh, you are watching Tuesday Virtual Cards and Wine. Um, I'm on water so far tonight, but it's early. <laughs> um, I usually do this at 8, but um, I sped it a little bit up tonight because uh, I've got something else um, to do later. So cleaning mostly, but anyway. Um, so I thought I would jump on a bit earlier. So I've got some super fun projects to do with tonight. So I'm just gonna flip you over and get to it. Um, there we go. Sorry for the movement there. Just turn you towards my desktop. Turn the lights on. There we go. So tonight I wanted to um, do some different projects with the ice cream bundle. So it's the stamp set and the fabulous ice cream builder punch. Um, so we are going to use both of these but in very different ways. So for this first card we're making tonight, it's this one. We're just doing simple banners. So I'm just going to set that aside. And... So I have got, you could do this with any designer series paper or even just cardstock. Um, so I'm using the in color 20 20 to 2022 in color um, cardstock. So I am just gonna cut out, punch out some banners using the ice cream cone. So a little bit of a different use there for that. So I am. Um, I, I will have to post the references to where I found these because I, I did not dream these ones up myself. Um, I created, I made them my own, but I got the ideas um, from, of course, my favorite Facebook groups. <laughs> there may be a little Pinterest in there too. Um, and lastly, so I've got each of the five in colors that I'm using for this one. So I'll just set that aside. So I've got a thick white card base. So I'm just gonna fold that in half. So that's um, one sheet cut in half at the five and a half mark. And I scored it at four and a quarter for a regular, regular standard card. And then just using my bone folder to make the crease. I want it to lie flat because I'm actually stamping directly onto it. So this paper is really fun. On one side it's got the polka dots and on the other it actually I find looks a lot like denim. So just busting these out. I'm going to keep them in the order that I have already done because it's just easier for me to recreate. So I'm just going to pull out those in color inks. So I'm going to start with my bumblebee and I just wanted to add a bit of a pattern. Um, you don't need to do this step but I wanted to add a bit of a pattern just for a little additional visual interest. So I'm just using the sort of little splotches to do that. Um, don't know what it is with us crafters. We end up crafting in a very small space every single time. All right, so I'm just gonna be super random with this. And I'm turning my stamp a little bit so that it's not, so that it appears random. Oh, I took part in a mystery stamping challenge last night. So that's when you're told the measurements of what you need, but you have no idea how to put it together. So this is a, a more traditional ice cream card that I made using the designer series paper from the ice cream suite, as well as the stamps and the punch. So it's pretty cute, huh? Turned out that I completely missed the instructions and um, it was supposed to open very differently than it does, but <laughs> I like how it turned out anyway. 
So I'm going to use some of the Magenta Madness. Then just jade. You could use the the sprinkle stamp to do this as well if you wanted to, just to switch it up. And that's it for that. Now we need a sentiment, so I'm gonna stick with the happy birthday because banners are super celebratory. I love the font on the, the happy birthday and the thank you on the stamp set. They're so nice. So this stamp isn't um, quite as sticky on the back as it could be um, because it has been handled quite a lot and it's totally normal that it loses its stickiness a bit over time. You know, we've got oils on our hands and whatnot. So if that happens to you with any of these clear stamps, just run it under some water and just clean it off and once it's dry, it'll be back to its normal sticky self. So that is our sentiment. I should make sure that you can indeed see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna... There we go. All right. Sorry for the movement on the camera there. And then to put my banners, I'm just going to line them up so that I'm sure that they're going to fit. And I'm alternating between the dots and the sort of fabric-y piece. Um, like I said, you can do this with any paper at all. Um, the card I saw of the woman who'd actually done this, had um, she had used different paper than this and um, she had the alphabet stamps so she um, had actually stamped happy on the banner like one letter per per piece of banner and then she had um, just done birthday which was kind of cool and if I'm not mistaken she had used the popsicle stick um, stamp to make a fence down here at the bottom. So it made it look like you were looking into someone's backyard, which is kind of fun. Um, I just didn't quite go that far. <laughs> We've got our cinnamon. And last but not least, our bumblebee. So I'm just making sure that my piece of bumblebee is not going to stick off the card because I want to be able to put it in an envelope. So that's our happy birthday card. And of course you can decorate the inside however you like. I hadn't gotten around to doing that one, so I'll just set that aside. Um, our next one is so much fun, <laughs> if I dare say so. So again, I've cut all the pieces already, so I'm using the um, thick white card base, which I don't need right now. I've got a layer that's um, Old Olive, and this is the designer series paper from the ice cream, sweet ice cream designer series paper. Another slice from that. And these are our stamping bits. So, this card is pizza. Isn't that awesome? Totally made with the ice cream stamp, with the exception of my sentiment. I went and fished that out from another set, which I'll also show you. So we are going to start off with our pizza slice. And I am using So Saffron, which is sort of a pale yellow to do this. So I'm going to start by making... I've got one slice sticking out of my pizza, so I'm making a separate slice here. And then I am just going to attempt to center this somewhat because I don't have a lot of wiggle room on this piece of paper. So you can put these as close together as you wish. And 
and I'm just stamping them in a circle. When I saw this card, I was like, oh my gosh. So I have changed it up, of course, from what I saw online, but uh, I definitely got the idea from a demonstrator in the UK, actually. And I'm going to leave this one blank because that's the slice that's going to be coming out. In colors over there. All right, so that is it for the yellow. I'll put that away. Now to make the crust kind of brown, I am using cinnamon cider. So it took me ages to figure this technique out, but then I watched her video and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm just dipping in the back end of the stamp and I'm going to beauty of the clear stamps is I can line it up to what's already down and I'm just stamping that on and poof we have crust so I'm using my phone tonight to do this video so I can't see comments um, or questions so please leave them though I will go through afterward and say hello and respond to all of your questions and comments. Oop. So you could, if you wanted to, if you were super skilled, you could do this in one step with just putting, you'd put your yellow on your triangle and then dip it into the cinnamon cider and you could stamp this in one shot knowing me I would end up dipping cinnamon cider into my saffron and I would be very upset with myself so <laughs> so my oldest turned 12 yesterday and um, my little guy wanted to decorate his gift he had bought him his own gift so it's a box of candy of course and uh, so I've got this craft this roll of craft paper which is ancient but still works of course so we wrapped the gift okay I wrapped the gift and then I gave him a happy birthday stamp set and the ink and he just went crazy stamping all over that craft paper yeah he um he was mooshing those stamps into the ink it was, it was madness I tell you so I had to do a little teaching. <laughs> I'm a little OCD when it comes to my stuff. I'm like, are, are you sure you want to stamp that? Okay. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> All right. So I'm using a smaller block for this one just so that it fits the stamp better. So now we're going to make some pepperoni. Um, so again, I'm just going to pick up some of the ink. I'm only doing half. And I'm using, um, I'm using ch uh, terracotta tile. Sure, why not? Terracotta tile. And that turned out great. Okay. <laughs> Didn't think that's what I used last time, but um, that's what's out. So because I'm only doing kind of half the stamp, I'm getting the pepperoni where I want it. It doesn't so much matter for this single piece because I'm going to be cutting it anyway, but I kind of want to keep the pepperoni on the pizza. To rotate the stamp set. I need the stamp pad. I need to rotate the paper. So is it starting to look like pizza? Do you see it? Or am I just not getting enough sleep? And then I'm going to pull out the sprinkles stamp. And I don't know, I'm using old olive. These can be olives, they can be green peppers, whatever green stuff you like to put on your pizza. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just putting kind of a little bit of stamp in, in a sort of triangular 
fashion. Isn't that fun? I find they look like green peppers. If you've got, you know, a finicky person in your family who doesn't like certain toppings, you can like skip a slice, <laughs> not put peppers on one slice. Um, you could use different ink colors and add different toppings. Like you could do anything with this. It's just so fun. What do you guys like to put on your pizza? I love peppers, but they uh, give me a wicked heartburn. <laughs> so I try to skip them. But I do love mushrooms. And I know, I know mushrooms are one of those love them or hate them sort of things. My husband has learned to accept them, but still doesn't like them. I cannot get him to join me on the olive train, though. It's just my thing. As a result, I don't have olives very often. Sadness. All right, where's my punch? All the way over here. Okay. So we're gonna punch out our lonely slice over here. And the last thing we need to do for stamping is do our sentiment. So when I saw this pizza, I was reminded of a, um, a stamp set that we have that is so freaking adorable. It's called Cute Fruit, and it really is adorable. Um, but it's got a sentiment here calling that says, wishing you a slice of happiness. And I know it's meant to be, you know, with the fruit, but I was like, oh my God, that's so perfect. So I pulled that out. And I'm just going to stamp that in old olives. It's kind of the predominant color on my card. So that's our stamping done for this card. Now we'll assemble it. So again, not a, not a difficult one to assemble. It's just putting the layers together. So I've got old olive on the bottom. I'm just gonna use my liquid glue for that. So I'm just centering that on my card base. Again, this is why I like to use liquid glue when I'm fussing with layers. I've just got a little bit of time to try to adjust them. Then we're putting down our designer series paper dots one, which has old olive in it and um, seafoam, something seafoam, the light green. That's bugging me, something seafoam. Might even have to look this one up. All right, and then we're gonna put our terracotta layer down. Whoops. And you can put that down with the waves kind of facing up or facing down. I really like this combination actually. Not that wasn't a pizza pun, although it could be, right? So I lined this guy up. I don't know, I can go this way. Okay, thought I'd done it. Done it wrong, but I didn't. So there's no wrong when it comes to crafting, right? It's just different. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put that down in the center here. And I'm just going to put the sentiment down as well. And don't worry, I have not forgotten our little slice. And 
I'm just going to use a dimensional on the back of that. Oops. Um, I do want to reinforce that a tiny bit, so I'm just cutting out a smaller piece from my border of my dimensionals. And I'll just put that over here on the tip of the pizza. And there we go. So I'll just fold that over. And actually, I think I did decorate the inside of the one I made yesterday. I actually prepared for this video beforehand. I'm kind of impressed with myself. All right, so this is the one I had made. Well, this is tonight's. This is the one I made yesterday. So I had used the lovely labels punch to make this a little bit prettier. Um, and on the inside, I put the happy birthday and another piece of slice to pull it together. So that's the pizza card. Isn't that fun? Pizza with ice cream. I love it. You could even make ice cream pizza. So the last card, I have lost my, oh, did I, what did I do? Goodness gracious. Here it is. So our last card, I don't know if you've ever been to Disney. Um, but these little, little ice cream pops are really a thing. Um, and I just think this is so cute. So we are making something similar to that actually. Um, so the last two, we used the, um, the triangle part. So the cone to make our sort of different looking card. So this time we are using the um, ice cream. So I wanna get these layers out of the way because I'm totally gonna muck it up if I don't. I need my space. So I'm just gonna put down, I'm using Magenta Madness and the designer series paper is again from that in color paper pack. I had actually made a card on the Disney theme similar to this before. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, it was probably in January, maybe December, December or January. Um, so it's been a little while. But I had a Mickey Mouse and a Minnie Mouse. And I had used um, some of the paper left over from the Trimming the Town designer series paper the Christmas one and that had worked really well too so it was more like I used it was reds and whites and um, a little bit of yellow all right so now I'm going to start by doing our popsicle stick and excuse the mess here I'm just gonna... I like to use crumb cake oh that's that other ink pad is that green called it was soft sea foam is that super light green this one that was mixed in with that other paper all right so yeah I like, I like to use crumb cake on my popsicle sticks but you could use you know any brown that you have I just find crumb is kind of a nice lighter one so this the the little popsicle stick is a two-step stamp, meaning that I'm stamped it once with that, but there's another really cute wooden pattern that I can put on top. And because this is a photopolymer stamp, a clear stamp, I can see through and line it up, or try at any rate. And then it gives us the little popsicle stick. I don't know if you can see kind of the wooden sort of um, detail. So that's just because I've used the other stamp. So we will put this away. Now we need a mini mouse. So I am using early espresso paper. To do my little mini. 
And so these teeny tiny little hearts, can you see them? They're right over here. Those are die cut from the well-written dies, which are really fun. There's all kinds of words um, included as well as a few little elements. And I'm sorry, I'm looking for my glue. So this is a little bit finicky, just a bit, because they're so tiny. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue at the top of my Minnie Mouse. Had you seen her as Minnie Mouse before, or Mickey? And once you flip it upside down, it's like, ha, huh, I see it. So I'm just dropping those hearts down. Um, if you have um, a die set that's got a bow, you could use that, far less finicky, um, but I do not. So I'm using two petite little hearts. Which have a mind of their own. All right, there. So now we need a little center, and I wanna keep with my magenta madness theme. So I'm using a regular rhinestone, and I'm pulling out my magenta madness um, stamp and blend. So these are alcohol markers. And I just colored my gemstone. So with the alcohol markers, it totally picks it up. And because it's alcohol, it dries super fast. So I'm just picking that up with my um, handy dandy multi-tool here. And then we've got a slightly skewed but cute little bow. So I'm going to use dimensionals and prop that up. They are over here. I always make sure when I'm using my dimensionals, especially on a dark paper, just to, to not go right to the edge with them, if at all possible. That way you can't see them once they're down. Oh, Minnie, so cute. All right, and now we need a sentiment. So I'm gonna use the happy birthday again because I mentioned that I absolutely love it. And I'm going to use the Magenta Madness ink, keeping with our pink card. This is just a one inch scrap strip of paper that I've got. And I'll just trim it after. I'll pull in the other card when I'm done this one and you'll see that I had fusty cut around the happy birthday. Um, some people are really good at that and I, I'm not. It's really, well, it turns out, but it's not, um, I find it really difficult to do. Um, so I'm not doing that for this card. Um, the key if you want to do it is I, I keep the stamp handy and I try to follow kind of the outline of the stamp. Um, I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. Um, just so that I have an idea of where to cut in. Because I find if I try to get too fancy and get too close to the letters, it just does not look good. And then I get angry and then I start over. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to put a few more rhinestones on that because, because why not, right? So I'm always very random with my little, whoops, oh, I haven't stuck that down yet. Ha, huh, I need to do that too. All right, so I'm just going to use liquid glue to put that down. I don't, I could do it on dimensionals as well. But I don't want to have too much height to the card in case I decide to send this to a lucky friend. So how cute is that? And so the first one that I had done, I used the um, stitched, stitched, like, stitched so sweetly labeled as my white 
and I added a little bit of the Magenta Madness Ribbon. And this is what I mean, I had cut out the words just to have less bulk on the front of the card. And to do that, I look at the stamp. Obviously it's not, it's already been stamped, but I try to see how they have gone around the words just with the rubber and that kind of, I try to follow that while I'm cutting. It's so far from exact, but um, <laughs> it usually turns out okay, but it does require some patience. So those are our alternate cards using the ice cream bundle. So we've got our pizza, we've got our banners, and our super cute little Minnie Mouse. So I hope you like these, and I hope they've inspired you to try using your stamp sets a little bit different than intended. And um, please let me know if you have any questions at all, and I will uh, do my best to answer them. Have a great evening and a great week. Thanks. I can't end my video, what's going on?